Hey guys, it's Chris Williams here with Cyclone Fanatic telling you about one of my favorite companies that I've worked with. And I hire them all the time. Country Landscapes, they're located up in Ames, but they have offices in Eastern Iowa as well, over in North Liberty. Got one up in Clear Lake. I've hired Country Landscapes to do all the landscaping in my front yard, but I've also hired them to come over and give me advice on planting trees in my front and backyard. Stuff I don't really know about, but boy, the folks at Country Landscapes are experts in this field. Field. They also have a skilled stone mason division that creates outdoor living and cooking spaces. That's something I need to look into. Check them out. Country Landscapes. You want that dream fire pit in your backyard? That's an idea for this spring. Country Landscapes supporting our March Madness coverage of the Cyclones here on the Cyclone Fanatic Podcast Network. When you're Iowa's dealer for life, you do things different. And as your dealer for life, We've driven together for over 45 years. Carl Chevrolet, we're proud of where we're from. We created a premium car buying experience easy for anyone. We serve more Iowans than ever with more locations and more brands. So together, let's drive from your first car to your last car, making memories along the way. We'll always be your dealer for life. The world will never be the same once you see it through the eyes of Fairway Frank. Frank, we'll sell London broils, New York strip steaks, pork chops, pork steaks. Frank's mama always said, life is like a T-bone steak. When you shop at Fairway, you know exactly what you're going to get. All right, what's up, guys? Connor Ferguson here for the Cyclone Fanatic pregame show, uh, powered by Caliber Iowa. Thanks to them uh, for being our presenting uh, sponsor for coverage uh, throughout Iowa State's uh, women's basketball postseason. Uh, and whatever postseason run uh, the Cyclones are able to go on, they begin that journey today uh, as number four Iowa State takes on number five Baylor. I'm backstage here. There's like a there's a big media room in the T-Mobile Center, and I figured we're coming back here. We're not going to be out in the noise. They're pumping music uh, into that building. It looks looks like some good amount of Iowa State fans here. Uh, sounds good today. Yeah, appreciate you. All gas, no breakfast is a great username, by the way. Um, it looked like some good amount, good number of Iowa State fans uh, in the crowd, but I came back here about 45 minutes before tip off. So it's not a very accurate reading about that. So it tips off at 11 uh, on ESPN Plus. Just a reminder uh, for everyone out there that's looking to catch this game. Obviously, uh, only one meeting this year between Iowa State. Uh, and Baylor, and that came at Hilton Coliseum. Uh, it was the fifth win uh, to start the five and zero start to the season in Big Twelve play for Iowa State. So, obviously, you can't take much from it. It was January thirteenth. Uh, got some stats from that game. Iowa State won the rebounding battle uh, against the Lady Bears. I think they're still the Lady Bears. I'm not sure what they do with the word "lady" with that anymore. Um, they won the rebounding battle, 36 thirty one. That's something they're going to need to do today. It's a lesser sized. Uh, Baylor team, obviously, than the ones in years past, but even from last year's team to this year's team. Uh, and it matches up pretty well for Iowa State uh, for how they want to play. Speaking of that, Audie Crooks uh, went for 23 in that game. Uh, that's going to be a big deal for Iowa State today. They need to get her the ball. They need to get her with a ton of looks. I think that is one of the biggest keys to this game is if you can have Audie Crooks uh, exploit Baylor's defense, everything else seems to go better. You also have Jalen Bristow, Hannah Bellinger, uh, Ariana Jackson as of late playing some of their best basketball as Cyclones. It sets up really well. I was told the bus ride on the way here, uh, there's a lot of good vibes there. I have good vibes about this. If I was predicting it, I'm, I'm leaning Iowa State. Obviously, don't do a ton of those. I don't do score predictions ever. You never get them right, right? Um, sorry, I can hear one of the teams coming out, but – no, it's an uh, interesting game to start off. Obviously, it's 11 a.m. Um, Iowa State had their shoot around on Thursday, and Bill Finley gave them the option to skip it if they didn't want to do it. It was set for 640, 6.45 a.m., I think. Whole team said, no question, we're going to do it. We're going to do the shoot around um, and got some shots up in what is like a stark difference from any college gym that you've been to, especially seeing it from the floor. I've been here 
quite a few times. I know how big it is. If you've been here, you kind of know how spacious it feels. It feels like a bigger, you know, NCAA tournament style arena. Obviously, doing that in comparing it to municipal, two different things. But one of the advantages you have there is not a lot of these players played at municipal. Uh, a lot of roster t- turnover from last year, this year. So that will be something to look for. Um, another thing uh, that I was tipped off about is the first quarters of all the games have looked pretty ugly so far. Now, some of those teams aren't very good, uh, but part of that also is getting used to shooting in a big arena like that. Obviously, they're still – they got 30 minutes to shoot around whatever they do before the game, their warm-up and everything like that. So it's – you know, at the end of the day, it's going to be an excuse if you're still talking about it after the game. So I would just look for that if there's a slow start – expect Iowa State to settle in and you know if you see Baylor have a slow start look for Iowa State to take advantage there it's a shooting team and you have to channel that at some point or another so uh another thing it's March that's I mean what we've seen I guess what I'm trying to say in women's basketball now uh we were talking this morning uh the top tier teams anymore are not as top tier as they were in years past. I think everyone is coming closer together on kind of the parity scale, parity scale uh, type of thing. I think that, you know, the number one seed, South Carolina, really, really good team. Really, I watched them the other night, really good team. But there's not as big of a gap from one to five, one to 15, you know, one to 30, 75, all the way back in the tournament. I think it's going to be a really – amped up March. I think there's going to be a lot of upsets around. Look at the Big Ten tournament yesterday. No one that got double buys advanced in the semifinals. Uh, I was the only team. So it's going to set up good. I'm really excited to see how it works out. Let me know if you guys have any questions uh, about this one. Obviously, Baylor coming off a win against Texas Tech yesterday. Watch part of that game. It kind of looked like they were not. I don't want to I don't want to say a team is ever bored. Um, but it, it kind of looked like they just comfortable in the lead, controlled the game, didn't have too hard of a test. You still have one game, one game on your legs, I should say, and obviously no rest day in the middle. Small advantage for the Cyclones unless you're on the other side of the rest versus rest debate. Um, but no, tips off 22 minutes uh, live on ESPN+. Plus. And I do need to give a shout out to uh, our great group of sponsors, Carl Auto Group, uh, the title sponsor of all of our coverage in March, as well as Central States Roofing um, and Country Landscapes. Big uh, shout out to those guys uh, for bringing you this coverage. They allow us, they allow me to be here in Kansas City. They allow me to go wherever we go, uh, wherever the Cyclones are at for the NCAA tournament. And uh, Jacqueline's down in Tulsa all day for Big 12 wrestling. It's a really banner sports day all around there some good motorsports on um, and obviously all the cyclone stuff and arch madness everything since any problems that shoot around with shooting against the bigger background i wasn't out there uh for too long um to chart their shoot around shots typically i don't i i not to compare this to hockey or anything I, i've played fantastic games when i shoot like crap in warm-ups it's almost a hundred percent clip at this rate uh but i i would just look for look for uh each team to get more settled in throughout the game goes. You might see third or fourth quarter, the percentages jump up. That's another thing from uh, that first game against Baylor. Iowa State went down uh, by 13 or 13 or 14 going into the first quarter break. They won all three quarters uh, going out by two of them, I think by six or seven points. So Iowa State was able to outpace them in in completely – take over that for the uh, rema- remainder of the game. And, you know, that's where where it says it's a good matchup where we say that the vibes are good. We think I was probably lean Iowa State in this one. That's a big part of that was uh, how they were able to control those three quarters. And I, I don't think Baylor has anything else that's going to surprise Iowa State. Uh, Danae Fritz, obviously, playing for Baylor this year. She isn't getting a ton of minutes uh, on that team. So I don't know if they'll – throw her out there at all or, or what their plan of usage is for her, but don't be shocked to not see her on the court too much today. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, I think we are about set to go as long as you guys are good without any more questions. Uh, 
big shout out also to uh, Keen Project Solutions and uh, Fairway Meat and Grocery uh, for also being on the uh, sponsorship board for us. I know uh, Chris worked really hard to get all this put together. I'm excited that we have um, people everywhere. Just Cyclone Fanatic has on-site coverage from every postseason stop that Iowa State's making. So I'm super proud of that. I'm super excited. Um, Steve says uh, he's asking uh, if they're going to go inside to Audi more than usual at the start. I think they might. Uh, she had 23 in the first meeting, obviously. It's definitely a plan that Audi played great against uh, their defense. She matches up very well against them. She's gotten better since that game, very clearly. So I think – I would not be shocked uh, to see them do that paired with the shooting thing. That's a great, great point, Steve. Um, but yeah, game, uh, game tips in about 19 minutes now, uh, live on ESPN, live on ESPN plus. Uh, so don't be scrolling the TV guide or anything looking for it. It's streaming. It's the ABR on my cap, Alex Bowman racing, uh, just one of my buddies. So uh, appreciate y'all for uh, tuning in. Um, thank you to all of our amazing sponsors. Uh, fantastic people and uh, fantastic companies. And one more time, thank you to the guys at Caliber Iowa uh, for being the presenting sponsor uh, of our women's basketball coverage. We got one more ceiling and floor for ISU and CAA seat. I would say the ceiling six, if they can get out of uh, KC with three wins, maybe, I don't even want to say maybe five. I think it's six. Um, part of that's looking at bracketology and stuff like that. I think it's six. I think the floor at this point, after that 4 0, it may be 11 is the floor. If today goes really poorly, if you win today, I think you're getting a 10. I don't even think that's fair to put so much stock into some of these postseason tournaments, but it is what it is. So um, we'll see what happens. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Enjoy the game. And we're going to, for the post game show, just so y'all know, uh, We'll probably go to interviews and then I'll come over here and do it afterwards. So look for that later on. We'll find a spot to do it. I'll be tweeting and I'll let you guys know where it's going. So appreciate you all for tuning in and uh, thanks for following along.